Florida has a currently powerless chairman of the Republican Party, Christian Ziegler, and he is now being investigated for video voyeurism. That's when somebody videotapes another person when they're naked without their consent. And this is just the latest chapter in a huge sex scandal in Florida where Ziegler is accused of raping a woman, a woman with whom Ziegler and his wife have allegedly previously had consensual sex. As of now, Ziegler has not been charged with anything, but as CNN's Carlos Suarez reports, he could be forced out of his job on Monday. Christian Ziegler's fate as chair of the Republican Party of Florida is no longer in doubt. He needs to move on. He needs to resign. On Monday, party officials will move to officially oust him. GOP leaders, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, wanted Ziegler out long before this week's revelation that Ziegler may have secretly recorded a sexual encounter with a woman accusing him of rape. According to a new search warrant affidavit, investigators are looking into that claim in the latest chapter of this ongoing sex scandal. Ziegler, who claims the sex was consensual, showed detectives a two and a half minute long video of the October 2nd sexual encounter. The affidavit states, quote, the victim did not give Ziegler consent to take this video. Neither Ziegler's wife or the victim knew anything about this video. The affidavit also says Ziegler's lawyer told investigators that the woman who'd had a previous three-way sexual encounter with Ziegler and his wife, Bridget, asked Ziegler about the video in a message on Instagram. Investigators want access to that IG account, according to court documents. Christian Ziegler maintains his innocence and has refused to resign. He has not been charged criminally in the case. But last month, party officials removed him of all his duties and reduced his salary to just one dollar. You cannot lead the Republican Party with the charges that are standing in front of him and the admissions he's made in the affidavits. You cannot morally lead the Republican Party forward. Bridget Ziegler, who co-founded the conservative group Moms for Liberty, hasn't been accused of any criminal wrongdoing. Since the scandal broke, she parted ways with the conservative nonprofit Leadership Institute, but has held on to her school board seat in Sarasota County, even after fellow board members called on her to resign, telling her the sex scandal is a distraction. It's not about the left. It's not about the right. It's about students. Bridget Ziegler, a close ally of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, advocated for Florida's parental rights and education law, dubbed by critics as the Don't Say Gay Bill. It removed discussion of sexual orientation and identity from public schools curriculum. Some parents and LGBTQ activists accused the couple of hypocrisy. The hypocrisy comes from their relentless attacks on LGBTQ people, their public disparaging of our families and our communities, while they themselves were simultaneously living this private life. The hypocrisy is just stunning. And Jake, last month at an emergency meeting of party officials, we're told that Christian Ziegler tried to apologize and defend himself. It is a move that was not welcomed by party officials. We're told at one point some officials began heckling Christian Ziegler, saying they want him to go.